All right, this is a painted rock, which is a big, very big rock coming out of the ground. Where Native Americans used to come here for, uh, I'm assuming, ritualistic purposes. Or it might even been a place where people uh, actually stayed to live. It's beautiful, we're here in the Carrizo Plain. As you can tell, Southern California, somewhat in the middle, but Southern. This is the painted rock. You can see how big it is. You can see my friend's size to the rock. Huge. It's like an amphitheater, you go in there and your voice echoes. Here are some of the cave paintings. Some of the Indian paintings, not Indian, Native American. Yeah, people have actually scribed into it, did graffiti, which is horrible, but the painting is still here. Done by a pro. <laughs> Look at that cape painting, it looks awesome right there. Wow, I wonder if they were high out of their minds. Doing these paintings.
more cave paintings right here. So it must, have, it must have been a beautiful mural, man, when it was in its day. It must have gone from, from here all the way up to the top and up to right there. So it's just been eroding for thousands of years. So it goes all the way up there. It's like a horseshoe. Look, there's cave paint. There's painting under that rock right there. The red, see it? Yeah. Wow, it's a little, little caves. They go into the rock. It looks like there might have been a cave painting all across right here too. It's all the yellow? No, it's just no. And then people have been writing their names into the wall over here. Some of them are really old, like 1908. Oh, from people from? Over there, 1908. Over Where? Oh, yeah. Lewis. And then down at the bottom, 1912. Oh, yeah. And then over here, 1885. 1885. 1885. Damn, 1885. So these people are here. Yeah, it sounds awesome in here. You can hear the clean echo. It's nice and clean, too. The air. There's an Indian mark right there. This is like where they do their do their thing. It's beautiful, it's quiet, serene, peaceful. mountain.
go inside this hole and come out to the top. Or you go somewhere. It looks pretty deep though. And we go in there <laughs> into the mountain. We'll probably come out that way. So there's some passageways or something. Let's go find some more of the cave paintings. This one, it looks like a spider web. You can see the red markings around it. Some more right there, but it's, hor it's horribly eroded. But it seems like they might have painted the rock black and then drew over it or something. Pretty awesome. Here are some more of the key paintings. Yeah. Right there. Right there. And it goes all along this rock. Underneath it as well. Now they've even, they've even painted underneath it. Well, it looks like a, like that's a spaceship or something. Looks like it could have drawn the sun or something next to it to the left. Some awesome drawings though. They went off here and drawing the pine <laughs> stuff. Looks pretty elaborate. Pretty awesome. This must have looked awesome in its heyday.
This is kind of what it looks like from the front. It's really big though, so it's this way. And there's also like a side entrance to the side and to the other, to the, another side to the left. So Native Americans walked through these same paths maybe a thousand, over two thousand years ago, who no knows. I know it was a long, long time ago. It was right up through there. You can go up, up to the mountain, I mean on top of the rock. There's passageways everywhere. Footsteps created these ways long, long, long time ago. through that top. Wow. Must have been fun. There's another little hangout spot <laughs> where they must have uh, camped out, had food, out, kick it. <laughs> See what it feels like what it must have been like a few thousand years ago, hanging out under some rock. <laughs> it's a beautiful location though. The Carrizo Plain. Nice and warm, not too hot though. Let's see what up the top takes you. Hopefully I'm not shaking the camera too much. As you can tell there's uh, holes in the rock everywhere. They could have used this for all sorts of purposes. Some more holes in the rock. I've seen a bunch of snake tracks. So. Gotta be careful, gotta be wary. Ooh, that's one big rock.
Yeah, this rock is like Swiss cheese, man. You can go in one side and come out the other. I wouldn't try it though, but. Look at her birds. It's a beautiful spot for, for a bird to live. Here's where they walked up to the top of the rock. You can see uh, the foot traffic has created a little trail up.